you for coming. If you are a return viewer, I appreciate you coming back. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. I hope that you subscribe and hit the like button and help the girl out. All right, so first things first. Um, this is pretty much my morning routine. And uh, I already washed my face, brushed my teeth. Important thing, made my coffee. Let's go to makeup. Okay, like I said, I already washed my face. I haven't put a moisturizer because to be honest, I went to bed really late last night and I put on my serum. Uh, let me show you. Here it is. I use this one at night here lately. Now, if you use serums, make sure you always shake the ingredients so you're not doubling up and stuff. Like I was using before this one, the vitamin C, which by the way, this is from Advanced Clinicals. And again, none of this is sponsored um, that I got at Walmart and it was very, very good uh, price. So vitamin C does a lot of good for your skin, among other things. It evens up your skin tone and also, you know, makes you look more luminous, works on your wrinkles, makes your skin more firm, all that good stuff. But because this has vitamin C too, I don't use both on the same day. Just to show you, this is what I wash my face with. Among others, I really like this one. It's it's a Walmart new line. I don't know how new it is, but it's recent, and uh, it's cruelty free. It's vegan. It has no harsh chemicals. It's it's their clean line. So no artificial color, no fragrance, which is awesome, and uh, no alcohol. No mineral oil, no parabens, all that good stuff. Uh, recently, I also got, because I'm almost out of that and I can't find it, got this one, which is like a foam cleaner, uh, which I like also because it's fragrance-free and that's really important because I don't want to dry up my skin, I'm trying to retain the moisture, right? So, and it has vitamin B5, vitamin E, which both of those are really good for the skin. So, what I was gonna say was I didn't put moisturizer on because I went to bed really, really late last night. And usually I wash my face and put the serum and then the moisturizer uh, the heavy one <coughs> right before going to bed and this is the one that I use most nights again it's a uh, Walmart brand Equate Beauty it's the collagen moisturizer day and night cream and uh, this is a dupe for I don't remember which brand now but I usually read the ingredients of the, you know, brand name and the whatever other brand, might be Walmart or whatever, um, that it's most um, budget friendly, read the ingredients and compare. And if they're pretty much the same, why pay more? It makes no sense. And I tell you what, I could win the lotto and I'm still gonna be a thrifty, Chopper, because no point in wasting money and nothing against brand names but some of that stuff my opinion sorry it's overpriced just because it's a brand name so but that's me all right so my face is still pretty moisturized like i can feel it so i don't want to overdo it either yeah so uh what i'm gonna do is Usually, I use this, um, well, I'm trying to get up. here it is, my eyes so I can see, 
usually I use a matte um, primer depending on the day because again the oily parts um, this is the wet and wild photo focus matte matte and um, I really 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 like it it makes your skin I mean I mean to me because uh, also there's something to say about too much moisturizing so when I'm particularly like to do it I love this one because it, it makes my skin feel dry to the touch but not as in dry skin okay and it takes away the extra shyness and it performs really good I also use the elf poreless putty primer and this one um, is a thicker cream and I use this one if I'm not going to put moisturizer prior to so I'm gonna do that today and but I like this primer but what I don't like about it is that it makes my skin light look lighter <laughs> But in terms of how it feels, it feels really good on the skin. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll put this one first, kind to make that moisturizing base. And then I'll use the, lost my cover here. I'll use the Wet and Wild on top of that. very very little and I'll show you here that's how much I put there that's how much I put here which are my areas that you know tend to get more shiny then I'll use the residue right here and right away, I can feel how this went smoother, if that makes any sense. And my skin still feels hydrated, but to the touch, it feels like a smoother surface. So I like that combination. Okay. So then, I do my dark circles. And last night I slept so little, it's ridiculous. I had to get up really early this morning, even though it's a Saturday. And um, of course, I couldn't get to sleep. This is a mirror that I got at Dollar General. I think it was $10. In one side is your normal mirror. The other side is a magnifying mirror. As you know, I wear glasses. So I need that magnifying mirror to see what the heck am I doing and got something on my lash so this color corrector is from LA Colors color conceal and I actually got this at the Dollar Tree and I was pleasantly surprised on how much I like it <clears throat> so hopefully I can find it there again my dark circles look horrible today and honestly I use my fingers a lot to do my makeup so I'm just tapping it in and then using what's going on my finger to tap on my lid because that tends to be dark too and unfortunately dark circles 
are a genetic uh, thing. So it's not just the fact that I didn't get much sleep. It's the fact that it's hereditary. And uh, nothing you can do about it. Because you know. So I use that one as my first layer. And then <clears throat> I have this Essence color correcting stick, which says no to dark circles. And to be honest, okay, I think this one I got at Walmart. And um, I'm not too sure how much it costs. This has been a long time. Because I don't put a load of it on, of any makeup item, to be honest. I try to keep it very light because when I was professionally dancing, the makeup had to be so heavy because... You know, when you're performing on stage with ballroom or theater with the lights and all that, you need to make your makeup a lot heavier than if it was just your regular, you know, day. Okay, so now that I have those dark circles <clears throat> as cover as I'm going to get them I am going to proceed to my foundation now I tan very easy and I get really dark really easy if I am exposed to the sun I used to be this dark even darker growing up in Puerto Rico then living in Florida and then in the last seven years almost now i have been living mostly in the midwest uh, even though i'm not in the midwest right now but a, a big bulk of those years was in the midwest so cold long winters long sleeves you know hoodies beanies not wanting to really be out because it was freezing cold uh, i lost a lot of that nice dark color but now this year i've been where it's really awesome weather and uh back to my like normal self i feel like i am a sun child being born in puerto rico and you know having the beach and all that that's that's like my sin so being very happy to be in this kind of climate again all right so the point i was getting at is that my foundation um changes color through the season so you know depending on how much outside so i had several but right now my favorite foundation yeah, okay here we go at the moment and i am really liking this light is the maybelline fit me line which is very budget friendly you know this is what they call <coughs> pharmacy uh, makeup so to speak because you can find it walmart walgreens cvs whatever and um Keep losing my glasses. Other people out there that wear glasses that do that. And um, I am really liking it because it's a matte foundation. Like I said, I had to switch through the later years because I used to have very dry skin. So I have to use very moisturizing foundations. And then, <coughs> excuse me, that stopped working. And it, my face felt like, ugh. So, um, I switched to matte, and this is the color 358, 
latte latte and I also have their powder which is matte and poreless uh, there it is and this is on the color 355 coconut um, what I was saying they don't have the latte latte in the powder um, so that one was the closest and um, it's starting to be a little too dark so I might have to go one or two shades down as we go into the winter so I also like it because it's very 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 light and it gives me a natural look like especially if I don't put powder on it just looks like my skin which is nice like I said I don't like heavy ones Another uh, foundation I have tried, but it's from, you know, easy to get at any store, is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. And this is a lighter one that what I need right now that I used before. And um, I actually like, also I find at Marshalls, it's the Urban Studio brushes. And I haven't used this one. And uh, <clears throat> Marshalls, TJ Maxx, you know, same difference. Okay, guys, so I am going to voice over here. And I'm starting with the darker shade on the crease of the eyelid and above. And this is kind of a, it's got a little shine to it, but it's a brown copperish color. And then I'm going to use my flat uh, brush to put the light color on the lid. I have hooded eyelids, so this helps to make it look a little bit more open. And I'm just patting it down. And now I'm gonna use a blending brush to soften the lines between the two colors and above towards the eyebrow. So very simple. Now I'm gonna use a pearly color to highlight the eyebrow bone. And that's it for eyeshadow. Now I'm using liquid liner And you can use the one that you prefer. Always make sure to dry good before you keep going or it's going to smear. And this is my bronzer. And I use it to contour. But that day I just went with the pressed powder from Fit Me. Because like I say, this is like everyday makeup. And this shade already gives me a tan look. And lastly, mascara. And I brush it on until I get the desired shape on my lashes before I proceed to dip it back in and do a second coat. And lastly, tinted lip balm. I love that. I had other things I want to talk about, but I went on all into the makeup. But I wanted to show you that you don't have to spend a whole lot of money to do makeup, okay? So try out different chip brands, see how it works for you, find your favorites. And I'm not against, you know, higher cost cosmetics, especially if they are of good good quality and worth it that's just fine and dandy but i don't feel like spending all that money for everyday stuff you know me personally right now i don't work outside the house so you know what i mean why would i spend that much money where i can spend that money 
and hair. <laughs> Thank you for chatting with me and spending this time with me. I hope that uh, I was good company to you and gave you some useful information. And uh, don't let anybody tell you you're too old to do your hair like that or you're too old to wear makeup like that or you need to dress this way or act this way. No, you do you. As long as you're being respectful to others, you know, do your thing, be you, be happy. Happiness comes from here before anything else. And that's something that nobody can take away. So do whatever makes you happy. Blessings to all and I see you soon and I hope you come back to the next video of Inside Marie's Head.